In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaClO4 2 plus K2SO4. This is barium perchlorate plus potassium sulfate. So with net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is we need to balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two of these perchlorate ions here and only one over here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the KClO4. That balances these perchlorates. We have two on each side. Now we have two potassiums. It's okay, two potassiums. We have a sulfate here, sulfate here, and then barium, barium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we'll write the states for each substance. Perchlorates are very soluble. If you know your solubility rules, AQ, that means aqueous, dissolves in water, splits apart into its ions. Sulfates in general, with a few exceptions, they're soluble. So we're gonna put AQ and potassium compounds here, they're soluble as well. So this is very soluble. Barium sulfate though, there are a few exceptions to the sulfates being soluble. Barium is one of the exceptions. Let's look at the solubility rules real quick. So we go down, it says most sulfates are soluble with exceptions and then barium, calcium, lead, silver, and strontium. These are insoluble. Most everything else is soluble. So barium, since it's insoluble, it'll be a solid and it'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances react. And then we have another perchlorate here, potassium perchlorate, AQ. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions and that gives us the complete ionic equation. So barium's in group two, that's two plus, and the perchlorate ion, the whole thing here, one minus, and we have two of those. So we write Ba2+, plus. that's our barium ion, and I won't write the states now, let's write that at the end. <laughs> and then we have two of these perchlorate ions, so two of the perchlorate ions. Potassium, that's in group one, that'll be one plus each one of them, and the whole sulfate, two minus. So we have two potassium ions, and then we'll have just the sulfate ion, the one SO4, two minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up. This is a precipitate, it's a solid. So we're gonna write BaSO4, keep it together. For the potassium perchlorate here, this is plus, and the whole perchlorate is one minus. So you have two potassium ions, and then we'll have two of these chlorate ions, just like in the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. I see we have two perchlorate ions here in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions. We're going to cross those out. Two potassium ions in the reactants, two in the products, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for BaClO4 2 plus K2SO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium perchlorate plus potassium sulfate. You can see the atoms, they're the same on both sides, and the charge balances as well. We have a two plus and a two minus, and that gives us a charge of zero, net charge of zero. This is neutral, net charge of zero. So charge balances. This is the balanced net ionic equation for barium perchlorate plus potassium sulfate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.